Hi everybody, I'm Michael. Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the baby sun rose and how you can grow her on your balcony if you live in a high rise down here in South Florida or in your garden. So, y'all ready to dig in? Let's grow! The baby sun rose also goes by the name ice plant and the botanical name for this plant is Aptenia cordifolia. She is native to Africa and she forms a wonderful, wonderful plant for your patio. We've had ours about five years and she's super, super resilient. This is a great plant. As you can see, we're very high up. It gets very windy and very hot. We face west. We have her facing west and she loves it. Now, some of the characteristics about this plant is that she doesn't tend to want to grow high. She wants to grow out, prostrate, and move outwards. So what we've done is we've taken some twigs and we've bent them and we've created this little dome and then just flopped her on top and then she's just kind of filled out this way and then cascades over. She can get very, very long. She has these long, long arms that will just trail and trail and trail and trail. And these are super easy to propagate. All you need, all you need to do is just cut, trim off these lower pieces here off these guys down here stick them in some some uh, soil and we'll go to that in plant care in a minute and you can get another plant these are very easy to propagate by cuttings so some of the other plant characteristics about the baby sun rose is that she has these wonderful uh, lanceolate leaves but they have this waxy feeling to them but it's it's almost waxy with a little bit of fuzz on them kind of like, almost like a miniature uh, African violet feel it's got a little bit of fuzziness to them and this is a great, I, I notice these in a lot of native plants here in South Florida. You'll see this on the silver buttonwoods. They create these hairs which helps keep the moisture in the plant. Because these plants are, 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 can be, are very drought tolerant. They can handle water, but they can also uh, handle hardly any water. So these leaves, and obviously being native to Africa, they've adapted that way to grow where they don't need a lot of water all the time. So these, the, the plant will only tend to want to grow about five inches high. And again, we've created a little dome here so she's more full. And we like the, the look she has in, a, in, a, in, a, in this potted container. But they'll tend to only get about five inches high if you're planting her in your garden. But each plant will get to about two, two, two to three feet wide. So these, these, these things grow down and the, their runners will hit the ground and take off. So she's a, she's a, vining, trump, or she's a vining succulent uh, if you were to describe the type of plant. And another thing that I'm super excited about this plant is that the baby sun rose will flower for you. Now she'll flower intermittently, off and on, all year round. Has like an aster look to the flower type. And when they get fully formed, the flowers will be more pinkish like this. We have some new babies down here, look at them! And they'll come out more reddish. And we'll zoom in so you can see this up close. They are just spectacular. We have, this is, you know, we're, we're, we're in winter time and ours is still flowering. She does tend to flower a little bit better more in the summer, summer months, but just so pretty. The plant alone, to me, I just love it because she has a little bit of this gray green color with white margins on the leaves. But then you get these flowers which just come out to say hello. Hi! They're so pretty. So, so pretty. So, I think I went over all the main things I wanted to tell you about on the plant characteristics. So now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate over and tell you about plant care. So let's go on to that step. In caring for your baby sun rose, let's first talk about lighting. This plant wants full sun if you can give it to her. She's going to eat it up. We face west and she gets everything from like 1130 uh, all the way till sunset and she just loves it. It gets very, very hot, but this plant has no problem growing in, in, in a hot, uh, sunny condition but you can grow this plant in part sun. She won't grow as robustly and will, will flower a little bit less. But again, the flowers are intermittent throughout the year. She's, she's, uh, she's just a great, great plant because she's so tough. And in, and in South Florida, we have these pockets where the summers can get excruciatingly hot. And this plant does not suffer at all. She, she's very well adapted, even missing some, some watering. So now that we've talked about lighting, Let's talk about soil. Since she's, she's from Africa, she, she wants more of a cactus-like mix. She's a succulent type plant. So we, we prefer that you, uh, you you make a planting mix in this ratio. We, we, we suggest using 70% cactus mix, 
at 20% worm castings to add some organics, and then 10% perlite to get a 100% uh, mix there, and then mix that all together, and then when you're up potting your plant or when you're putting a cutting in, I uh, just took where that from? Where's our cutting? Well, when you take the cutting and you put put it in there, you'll uh, she'll she'll take off in that that soil mix. Now for watering, you're going to want to water every 14 days. You want to water well, but you don't want to water um, more than that unless you see that the plant is starting to suffer. Well, uh, again, this plant is drought tolerant, and the worst thing you could do is overwater this plant. So that well-drained soil mix is going to help the water move through. The organics is going to help give her the energy she needs to grow. But you can. Um, just make sure you watch that you don't overwater. And there's an easy way to do that is you can stick your finger down into the soil, down a few inches, and you can see it comes back at that 14 day mark of watering. You can see that's real moist. You can hold off on a day or two before watering. You can also use a bamboo skewer. We love to do that. That's easier and you can dig it down. And then if you pull the bamboo skewer out and you see, you see that there's a lot of moisture on it or a lot of dirt sticking to it, that means that the plant needs to be, uh, you need to hold off on watering for, for a day or so. On fertilizer, she likes a well-balanced cactus mix, and we'll go into that detail in the written care instructions coming up, and you'll have all the stuff I said summarized in more detail, so you can take a screenshot and save for yourself, but uh, this is a, a plant that, that just wants a well-balanced succulent mix for the fertilizer. And for pests, we don't have any problems with pests. Typically, you're gonna have aphids outside, you're gonna have scale, you're gonna have mealybugs and spider mites on, on those are most of the common insects down here in South Florida that, 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 that attack plants. But the uh, baby sunrose is super resilient in that regard too. So super drought tolerant and then super pest resistant. Doesn't really need a lot of care other than trimming her, her long arms. But we love when she gets all crazy and grows over like that. We have a, another one on the side there that's just taking off down the, the side of our uh, balcony. But just, just a wonderful, wonderful plant. Uh, before we rotate into written care instructions, I want to tell you one more thing about the baby sunrose. She is hardy. She's, she, she's hardy to grow down here in South Florida zones 10 and 11. If you, if you try to bring her a little further north up in the 9s and the 9B and, and, and so, you may run into some issues when it gets cold. It could, it could cause um, real, real harsh cold spells could, could damage the leaves, but it's pretty resilient. So I would say coastal 9B, you probably would be okay but she's, she really wants to be in zones 10 and 11. So with that, we're gonna rotate over into written care instructions and then we'll come back and do a quick closing at the end. joining us and if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section below and the baby sun rose and i want to say thank you so much for joining us see you in the next video bye please remember to like subscribe and hit the notification bell and tell your friends and family we post videos weekly thanks